Well, he's dreamed about it since he was in eighth grade. For the ninth grade championship, he makes it. My goodness, he is built like a fucking school bus. But boy, oh boy, can this guy kick. Look at this, doesn't even take a running start. He just flicks it with his fucking toenail. And just like that, the Soaring Eagles have won the championship. Wow, what a happy camper. And he is jamming out to start it from the bottom. Now I'm here. As that song came on, he started dancing. I mean, God, he's throwing up gang signs. The only issue is uh, he started from the bottom and he's still there as he remains on the bench. And sometimes, as they say, you just got to stay in your lane. If this is any sign of things to come for Denver, they're in big trouble. Mr. Locke. It has been a disaster for Brady. Hit the ball left, right. If there's a lake around, he'll find it. A dog, cats, everybody's dying. He's almost killed fucking nine people that have been there today, but he drains it. What a shot from Brady. And Tiger Woods, who's been talking shit all day, doesn't like that one. And as for Peyton Manning, well, he might be the biggest fucking sandbagger we've ever seen on planet Earth. What a shot from the GOAT. Yeah, he's feeling a little good after that one, Peter. We didn't think he had his A game. Well, we know he didn't bring his A game. And as we know, makes his way over to grab the ball out of the hole. And I think he just shit his pants. He either just split his pants or shit his pants. And now he is right back to square one again. The shitbag titty fuck of the week is Tom Brady. I mean, these fat, chubby Asian guys, I don't get it why they fight. They never stand a chance, especially when you're facing fucking Aladdin on steroids over here. Roundhouse kick! Down he goes! And jumping around like a fucking ninja, that one doesn't land. Again off the fence like a fucking gorilla! And oh my god! He's okay, I don't know how. Now watch this. He makes his way to the dugout, right? Doesn't agree with the call. Grabs the trash can, right? This is classic. Runs to home plate where it all went down. Takes the trash can, says, fuck you. That's what you are. You're a piece of shit trash can. Says it right to the umpire. He will be fine. And the pitcher, Timmy Johnson, pitching all right, but he has acted a little strange lately. We don't know what is going on, and he just threw up, I think. He just euchred everywhere. And he euchred again. I don't know if this kid has the fucking Ebola virus, if he went out too hard last night, or he's possessed by the devil. But either way, we're cutting away. This is fucking horrifying. The kids, are they're just so polite nowadays, Peter. they got a good head on their shoulders. Throwing down a third, it was close. We'll see what the play is. He just said something to the umpire. Oh, my goodness. The umpire just fucking threw out a seven-year-old. And the seven-year-old's not happy. Throws his shit. Gives him a double fuck you. And he's going to be fine. Maybe a chocolate bar for that one. And the pitch is going to get away from the catcher. We got some action at home. Played. He got him. No, he did it. He's safe. And somebody's not happy about it. Spitting all in the face of Mr. Clean. Or Kevin from the office, haven't figured out which one. He's out of here, but the pitcher says, no, you're fucking out of here. And there are children crying in the stands. Look at that, fuck this shit. Throws the ball over the fence in the left field, and this is not what you want to see in baseball. He's throwing his glove now in anger. You see how close this play was. Let's see who is right here. Is the tag down? It looks like he's safe. He just popped a vein on his forehead for no fucking reason. And now he's taking it out of the Gatorade tank. Beating the shit out of it with a baseball bet. Somebody locked that man up right now. He's dangerous. Uh, that is correct. I believe what you just said is facts. Why is right, my goodness, look at these two. Yeah, wow, wow, my lord. They are so fucking far apart from each other. This volley won't end. Another slapper and another poke. Another slapper, my goodness. 
Look at these two go! It's like they've been up all night doing zippies. Across the middle now, now playing side to side. And that's it, that's all she wrote! Wow! Yeah, 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 yeah! The cat trying to get out the window. Nowhere to go there. The big dog's waiting for him. Right side, left side, hurdles over the dog. Look at the replay here. Fakes to the right, left, and then Christian McCaffrey-like. Leaping over that brown Labrador who is about to rip its fucking head off. But finds an escape. What a run. Well, Peter, you see here, look at this ball boy in the background. Collects his balls like his job is supposed to be. And then he runs into the fucking wall. Nose plant. Doesn't disturb the tennis player. But one more time, look at fucking gooey head go right into the wall. And the tennis is back. And base is loaded. Nobody out. Slapper left side. And nice play by the third baseman. Digging his way to first overthrown. And... Number 10 forgot to run. God damn it. Every time in this fucking sport, Peter. Ground ball to the third baseman. Finally, we think we're going to see some action. The ball almost left the infield, but number 10 forgot to fucking move. Ah! Well, he never gets laid. He has seven cats in his freezer, and he's got a closet crystal meth problem. Anything goes here. It is gaining momentum. At the right time, slowing down just a little more. Come on now. Come on now. No, 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 no. Don't you do it to me. Don't you fucking do it to me. Wow. And Kim looking to go after Courtney. Finds a hole. Big right hook from Kim. And a late kick from Courtney. Now Chloe doing her best to break this up, but that's just not happening. Let this continue. Even the Kardashians are losing their minds during this quarantine. Whoa! And we cut back to the replay. Look at this. What is he reaching for? A baggie? Or does he have crabs? We don't know what the difference is. Look at once again. Goes down. Look at the right hand. Is it a cuff? Yep, he, he does. He might have a bag. Oh, and he did a rippy. He did a fucking rippy, folks, the World Cup. And we caught it on Bob Middlery TV, how glorious it is. And now they're debating how to handle the PR nightmare. As it was tweeted out by somebody, Kanye or Migos or one of the boys, we don't really know. But oh my goodness, look at that. Now they're getting this fucking guy in the bib. He's saying, spare me. Save me from getting the press. I'm doing baggy curls. As he goes to his back pocket. And wait a minute, oh my goodness, he gets another baggie. The ball's on this guy. The head coach, oh my goodness, does a snivel bomb. And another snivel bomb. It is, un oh, that's it, sorry. Euro 2016 brought to you by McDonald's. And sports at an all-time low. Fuck it, here come the ostriches. Number one. And number two out to an early lead. And number three is tweaking out in the back, running in circles. He has no chance. And look at this! Coming from behind is number two. Number one's jockey falls off. As a matter of fact, every fucking little jockey falls off. And now the ostriches are going crazy. Running around as they'll be sheltered back in place. And oh no, that guy's going to get stuck in there with him. And they forgot about another ostrich who's tweaking out and doesn't want to go in there. Jesus Christ. I think the world has hit rock bottom. Look at the replay. Kim Kardashian is the uh, ostrich that won the race, I believe. Let's see. The number two here goes to the side, goes left, starts fucking freaking out. And number one just takes the lead. What a race, guys. Join us every week.